I am out here on the first buffer here, and uh, it's actually working out quite nicely. Um, but uh, the rain, it stopped for a second, but I think it's still coming. But uh, I got it folded up, the outer wings, because I can only fit through right there. This is only the little strip right here, from that corner, up to here that's got to get that done. So I don't need to waste time folding it open here, so I'm off to the next field here. There's just a little short little section right there that's close to a creek. And uh, they're gonna come out and measure 50 feet from the edge of the any creek. I don't agree with it. I think it should be a case by case basis and you know, how much water actually flows there and whatnot. But uh, it's a flat, flat 50 feet from what I understand, no matter where. So we'll do it, we'll deal with it. So you know, there's areas here where we already are a good 50 feet away from the creek at least. But uh, I'm just going to work two passes back and forth on each side, and then uh, they'll put their flags wherever. I'll give them plenty of room to put their flags, and then it'll give us plenty of room to come back and plant. This field will be beans, um, so it'll be a while until it gets planted anyways, but um, we call them and told them to come park it before they get busy so we can know where the line is. So I don't know how they're going to do it, if they're going to measure every so often, because this creek isn't straight, it curves, so it's a lot of measuring for that guy. I don't know how he's going to do it. But it's a lot of acres lost to a lot of farmers. This, you know, people will say that well, your fertilizer was running right into the field if you were closer. No, no, it wasn't. You know, farmers, there's no one. To, if we put fertilizer down with the intention of it running into the field, why would you even do it in the first place? You know, farmers are responsible and they have the equipment nowadays where we can place the fertilizer and everything where there is, you know, no, the runoff it, it doesn't exist because it when it works its way through the soil by the time it gets to the uh, tile lines it's water so i i don't agree with it maybe i'm wrong i'm not an agronomist but uh i think this is overkill but uh, we got to comply so here we are doing it just going nice and easy here it's ripped corn ground and uh i'm going three mile an hour right now uh in season and i'm probably going to try to be pulling this thing around four to five miles an hour probably somewhere in there um kind of makes that humming noise when it turns. There could be a seal out still, but it's, it functions. But uh, we'll address that if we notice an issue that continues. But uh, four to five miles an hour, you get that good explosion of the dirt. That's what we're after. Like right now, we're not really getting an explosion of the dirt. What I mean by that is when you can watch the shovels and the dirt's just poof, poof, and really shattering. But uh, I'm just taking it easy. We're down along these creeks. It's a little muddy. Not, it's not muddy, actually. It's working up very nicely. Um, but. Uh, don't want to tear this thing apart you know this thing takes a beating and going across ripped ground it's a, a lot of uneven ground for this thing to negotiate five miles an hour is plenty fast uh when i was on that unworked bean stubble last year going like seven eight miles an hour that was pretty darn good but uh we only, we only got a couple like one or two fields in our unworked bean stubble just because of the hills and whatnot so there won't be much running that fast for any year really. i'm a firm believer in that if you run the equipment um take care of it or if you help fix it you also uh you run it a lot you're a lot easier on equipment because you know what it takes to fix it you know you know that you don't want to work on it again basically any more than you have to so i'm a firm believer in that people that operate your stuff should be also the people that help you um, fix it because otherwise some people can get a little carried away and beat on equipment sometimes um, so yeah that's just that's why i'm taking it we're not planting. It's not like I'm trying to stay ahead of the plant or anything. I am trying to beat the rain, though. It is going to rain here any minute. I got one more farm to go to with a couple cricks that run through it. I'll probably only be able to get to one of the cricks, but oh well. One other thing that I haven't got to do is washing the windows on this rig, all the rigs. I'm going about six miles an hour right now on the bean stubble. Um, it's working up very nicely. A lot of times the bean stubble will trap the moisture in the ground. And uh, that's why ripping those fields last year is we're, we're excited to get that oxygen in the ground and help it dry out a little better in some of those fields. But uh, this one's a lot of rolling hills, and uh, it just wasn't worth it just to come over here and rip it. We, we could have, but um, we left it. But uh, it's actually working up very nicely. Uh, we'll see. If it doesn't rain much, either this field or some fields around the bin site could be some candidates for getting some corn planted. A um, little tacky in some spots, but we are right along the creek. I mean, there's a good couple hundred feet right here. Um, 150, 
50 feet for sure between us and the creek, but uh, just making one pass because there's a little corner way back there that I'm sure they're going to want to flag and uh, get some grass planted. But uh, this we've abandoned farming this just because of the way that creek overflows into this field. Um, there's a somebody paid to have a, a dam put in the government gave them, gave them money to put a dam in the creek. I don't know why, but uh, it flooded this field out ever since. So, oh well. Well, I am going to call it a night on this one here. Um, it's starting to rain, and uh, I actually got engine engine electronics is flashing on me, and the throttle is kind of doing like a vroom, 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 vroom. We've had Case out here to look at it since it's a Cummins engine. We've had John Deere out to look at it since it's a John Deere tractor, and they pointed fingers at each other. And uh, from reading on forums, that's just one of those things where it won't rev down. And now it seems like I don't know if it's the computer or what's going on. Um, you can try replacing that online, it said. I think we might have even tried putting one in there and they took it back out because it didn't fix it. Um, the only other thing would do it, maybe one guy said he put a mechanical throttle on it. I don't know. Something's going on with it. If it ain't one thing, it's always something else. But uh, I'm going to go back and see what he's got going on with the planter. And we'll probably head out here. It's getting close to 8 o'clock at night and it's just starting to rain. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and uh, have a good night. Be safe. And we'll check you later.